Hey everyone, it's Chrissy here, and today I'm going to walk you through a use case in clay for enriching folks. Um, so I'm going to be doing more videos where I talk through use cases that you can do in clay, specifically for like an agency owner like myself, um, but also things that you go to market operators can do within your own org. And I have to say, you know, learning the tool can be intimidating, but for those of you that are interested in trying clay, it's definitely worth trying out and getting your feet wet. And I'll show you just why, because, you know, if someone like me is busy, runs a business, has kids, has a, you know, newsletter, podcast, all the things, um, I can actually find some time to fit in uh, using the tool really quickly. So I'll show you some simple use cases like one today and then get more advanced as we go on. So Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing is uh, you want to make sure your systems are connected in connection. So I have my clay connected to HubSpot, which is a pro feature. Um, so if you want to use it, you want to make sure that um, you're able to uh, connect uh, with HubSpot. But you could also, on your free version, just export the, the data from HubSpot and put that into a table itself. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. Um, so first I'm like, I need to create the list uh, that I can pull from play of the people that I actually want to enrich. So here I'm looking at anyone that is part of our newsletter list. And the first name is unknown. We only ask for uh, email on our website. And so um, we have some folks, these aren't all people that are subscribers, but we have some folks that just don't have. Uh, first name or last name, and I want to get that data. I'm probably company name too, but I'm just going to show you the first and last name. Um, and so once I've created that list in HubSpot, I'm going to head over into Clay. And here you'll see that they have kind of some quick start things that you can do. Um, I'm going to create a new table and I'm going to import the objects from HubSpot. And I'm going to find my list. I'm going to choose contact. And then I'm going to include read only properties because some of mine are. And I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to do a new blank table for this purpose. So now it's going to start to pull everyone in. It might take a little bit of time. Keep going. So I have, I think it was like 666 records. So I'm going to keep pulling. All right. We're almost there. Oh, it's actually, yeah, 662. I think I already enriched a few. So, um, there we go. So now I have the data. You can see it's very sparse. I don't really have much. And now we're going to add an enrichment. So the thing that I love most about Clay is that you can do a waterfall. And you can actually plug in your own data sources here. So if you have um, here, but also within your settings. So if you use Zimbo, Apollo, Lucia, all that. And the benefit is like you can see how those vendors compare with each other from a data standpoint, but also only leverage their um, credits when you actually use them. So it's a better use of your money for those tools too. But you actually don't even need those tools to use the enrichment. So here I'm going to choose the waterfall for uh, for full name. So I have these three options. Um, I'm going to make sure that it's mapped to email. So I'm going to search for email field. And then here I'm going to make sure that input is looking email that's the only data I have and then email now I also want to um get the name of the successful provider just for this use case because I thought it'd be interesting and then I'm gonna hit save and I'm just gonna run it first for the 10 rows that's what I kind of like is you can kind of test it out before running against everyone um just to see if you want to make changes so you don't use up all your credits And so here it'll start going. 
and you'll see some folks have already been matched. Um, and then now we have that in the full name column. Some of these are going to keep going like with Snow. Um, but for sake of time, I'm going to show you. So, so one of the things you'll see is I'm going to get full names, but you know, if we're mapping into HubSpot, I actually want to separate out those into first name and last name. So this is also a really cool thing is you can create formula fields. And not only create formula fields, you can actually have uh, the tool create the formulas for you. So I can say, get me the first name from the full name field. And then generate formula. And you'll see it shows the first names. I'm going to say the output is correct. And you'll see here again, these are the ones that actually found the data. And then now I'm going to do another formula and I'm going to say, get me the last name from full name. All right, that looks good too. And all of these look good. So what do I do with this data? So I want to send it back to HubSpot. I don't want to have to like go in, export this, do an import and so forth. And you can do that all here. So under actions, I'm going to say export. I'm going to choose HubSpot and I'm going to update my object because I know that these records are already existing. And I'm going to choose contact and then the HubSpot ID, which is imported here. Uh, and then you'll see it's ID record, so the unique identifier. And then I'm going to map first name. I want to pull from the first name to field. And then last name, I want to pull from the last name to field. Okay. And then there, you can see there's a bunch of fields that you can map to that we have. Um, and you can run conditions on your update. Maybe you can say, if they're already empty, then, you know, don't include. And that's all the way at the bottom. But in this case, I know they're empty. So I'm going to hit save and I'm going to run for those 10 rows. Okay, awesome. It says object updated. So now say I find Cassandra Clark in HubSpot. Okay, and then now I have her first name and last name. So that's it. I mean, that's like such an easy thing to do. You can imagine I can do it with other fields like company name or other field all within that one table and then do the mapping. Um, you can see how amazing that is to use the waterfall because we didn't find, you know, a response from just one of the options found it from others. And so now I can also make sure that I'm updating new people as they enter that list. So you can actually have this running um, as a job and continuing to update folks. Um, so hopefully that was interesting for you all. Um, if you have any questions, you know, this is kind of a basic one, but um, it might inspire you to, you know, update your own newsletter contacts or maybe give you the um, idea to make a uh, better use of your own enrichment providers. And, and one thing is like not having to create all those fields within CRM to capture all that data. You can just only update your standard fields um, and have that all powered by play. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed.